Wazoo. Hello there. How are you doing? I'm well, thanks. Cool. So, um, it's your first time around being interviewed here, so could you tell people um, about the music you make and who influences you? So, I have two main projects, one of which is based here at the Mini Music Sun. well, we rehearse here, called Monsanto Sound, and I'm the drummer, but also, I suppose, kind of producing or, like, directing as in the band leader, and uh, that's kind of... I suppose it's a hybrid between electronic music and uh, 70s psychedelic music um, with, I suppose, taking the aesthetic of the repetition and the hypnotic dance music uh, aesthetic and kind of mixing that in with elements of kind of jazz and improvisation. Cool. Um, who are my influences? My, uh, so, uh, sorry, the second project I do is I'm also a producer. I produce... Um, 90s style IDM, very influenced by Aphex Twin, Orteca, mm-hmm. um, John Hopkins, and Tom York. Uh, and for my band, the influences are mainly Can, uh, uh, Radiohead, and I suppose 90s trip hop. Cool. So with the band, what are your performances like? Do you use like an electronic drum kit, or do you? Have oh, I have acoustic drum kit, but the the electronic elements are generated by the keyboard player who's also playing synths but with a an aesthetic of the sound modulating rather than trying to like change the melodies or notes it's much more kind of it's as if he is mimicking a sequencer when he plays all right Mm. so how long have these two projects been going which one's your main one uh so my main project is monsanto sound and that's Mm. been going for about just about a year now Uh um and my other project has been going for about five years and uh, there's a release coming out in the next couple of months on a label called First Light Records in Manchester. Cool. Um, yeah. What about the uh, the name? So you said Monsanto Sound. Is that like the uh, company Monsanto? It is, yeah. It's a, I suppose it's an it's a ironic reference to the company and it's also conceptually related to what we're trying to do. It's the thing of recreating something but with different elements so it's you know recreating electronic music but not using machines right uh and it's that thing of like kind of taking something that you already know but giving it a different thing and also there's a kind of punk aspect to it which is i'm not a fan of monsanto at all in the slightest and kind of taking ownership of that name to generate something positive rather than something negative as well as part of the idea. So I'm assuming you don't call your album like Agent Orange or Roundup or Uh I mean I might, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But that but it's it it's very much in line with the punk aesthetic of like kind of being like, well, I'm using this tool as a way to generate awareness of something that is bad, but through the generation of the awareness yeah, it's actually uh, bringing positivity. To cool. People, yeah. And you don't foresee any legal disputes with Monsanto. In the the, the aim is to have a full legal dispute. <laughs> I'd love a legal dispute. That would be great. Yeah. Uh, they can probably afford quite expensive lawyers. Yeah, they probably <laughs> they probably can put me down for a long time. But anyway, so someone's got to do it, you know. <laughs> cool. So what's been um, what's been your career highlights so far with these two projects? Uh, I suppose uh, I had a gig. Um, supporting a a touring band for, called Thirty Seventy, who were touring Europe uh, uh, at a rhythm section event in the summer, which was pretty well attended, and it was as part of Bussy Building. I think I, I think maybe eight or nine hundred people came to the event, mm. and that was pretty nice. Like as in that was a pretty buzzing event, um, and it was really fun. I had a great time. It was nice. To, also, the other bands were really good. Um, so that's a highlight for the Monsanto. And then uh, for my own project, um, I suppose my highlights, I suppose the highlight is, is kind of yet to happen, which is this release that's coming out, um, mm-hmm. which has been delayed um, just for various reasons, just because it's actually better to wait until the label will release someone else and then release what, what my... Um, um, what I'm doing, um, so that so that I suppose it's not a highlight, but it is it is a highlight. Well, it's, it's an upcoming happening. highlight. It's an upcoming <laughs> highlight, indeed. Yeah. Um, so you know that's like three 
three years work that's kind of culminating to it, something really so I'm, I'm i'm really excited for that cool what mm-hmm. about like uh, when you're releasing that what are the visual elements going to be like i'm working with a live av kind of improv mm-hmm. someone who's kind of improvised live av mm-hmm. so I, i'm doing a live set and then there'll be someone like generating these visuals um and it's very much in key with what i'm trying to do which is like hypnotic and psychedelic um but also kind of emotional but in quite an abstract way uh cool mm. so you're the leader of your band yes and i know that involves a lot of different tasks you got to wear a lot of different hats <laughs> yes. it can be quite stressful um for someone who is just starting in a band or like younger artists who want to get into that role are there any like very hard lessons that you <laughs> have learned along the way that you can uh, the only thing i could say is patience mm you know unlike a lot of musicians i'm generally on time and i'm where and where i need to be and i say if you want to be a band leader you ha- you have to always be on time and where you need to be everyone else often is here and there and late and you have to be patient for them but you need to continuously be professional otherwise no nothing will be professional so that's my advice really um and also being patient because people you know will be here and there but if you maintain patience and perseverance then people will also kind of step up to your game and you're kind of as a band leader you're kind of setting an example in terms of energy that you want other people to um abide by mm. cool um <clears throat> where can people find you online uh so instagram uh so for the band it's at sound of Mon- monsanto mm-hmm. um with a z so m o n z a n t o um and then for my own music it's at waz beats uk w-a-z beats uk um as in drum beats uh do you have any solid uh release dates we can share here uh so monsanto single is coming out mid-october i don't know the exact date i think it's 17th of october mm-hmm. um and then the uh ep I don't have a solid release date for that. It was originally supposed to be the 26th of August, but that's now gone. So I presume it's going to be either either in September or October. Um, so that's also within the next two months coming up. Cool. You've got a busy autumn ahead of you. Yes, thank you. Mm. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you very much. Cheers. Yeah.